Hey guys, so guess what lesson's coming up? It's not going to come up today, unfortunately, because my knucklehead self forgot to charge her GoPros, and I can't film it with this iPhone. But what I can do is give you guys a few tips on how to prepare and get a couple of lessons in if you've never painted mice before. What you're seeing here is just the effects of this fan brush and this particular color paint, which is a thin paint, and that's important too, um, shot through this Iwata Eclipse. Now you'll notice one of these is different. You have a completely different effect right up here. Now how do we go from this, which is cool, to this, which is really unique. It's an interesting pattern, and it's very hair-like. All we did is sprayed this three times two three and then on the side that we shot we flipped over and made an imprint and shot it again so you have the inside texture and the external texture just a little trick if you guys are learning how to paint mice it's not going to look anything like gerald's so we're not even going to try to go there to the genius but this is your lesson. The mouse vid's going to come up in about three days. Have a great morning. And if you don't have fan brushes, they come in different sizes. Go get you one. Walmart's got them. Hobby Lobby's got them. Michael's has got them. You can get them online. I'll leave you a description and a link where you can pick them up online. Thin paint. Thin, thin, thin paint. Not thick paint. That stuff's great for shooting. This stuff is great for detail. So you definitely want a more detail-oriented, reduced paint. Use reducer if this is all you have. If all you have is thick paint, then you're going to be mixing reducer in. The mouse is yet to come.